The question reads, epitopes are the molecular regions of antigens that can trigger an immune response. In the figure below, a viral epitope is interacting with the human antibody. What types of bonds are most likely formed between the molecules of the epitope and the molecules of the antibody? Are they A, nonpolar interactions, B, electrostatic interactions, C, polar covalent bonds, or D, hydrophobic bonds? So this question actually appears to be a lot more difficult than it is. It's just a very clever way of asking you about protein-protein interactions. Let's think about it. We have an antigen and we have an epitope. Antigens can be proteins and epitopes are generally proteins as well. So we're looking at two proteins and inside of the diagram here on the figure we're actually shown um, side chains, amino acid side chains that belong to uh, these proteins that are involved in these interactions. Remember D is the abbreviation for aspartic acid and if you recall your biochemistry remember that aspartic acid has a negatively charged side chain. N of course is for asparagine which has a positively charged side chain and R is for arginine which also has a positively charged side chain. So we see that we have interactions between negative here and positive, positively charged side chains. So we are actually looking at electrostatic interactions. These, of course, are a type of intermolecular force. So let's take a look at this diagram just to refresh our memory. Here's lysine, which is also an example of an amino acid with a charged side chain. Notice that the nitrogen here in lysine has a positive charge that's capable of interacting with glutamate or glutamic acid or specifically the oxygen in that molecule. So we have an intermolecular force or an intermolecular attraction. So this of course is electrostatic because of the opposite charges. So going back to our question we see that the type of interaction that's formed or bond between the um, epitope and the antigen is an electrostatic interaction. Now I stress here that this question is really asking us about protein-protein interaction. And I keep using the word intramolecular to remind you that co covalent bonds here in choice C are intramolecular forces. That means they are within the molecule. But here we have two separate molecules, so we should not choose choice C. Also, notice that nonpolar interactions can also be referred to as hydrophobic interactions. So choices A and D are ac actually the same thing. Remember, if you recall, for instance, hydrocarbons and oils, lipids, those form nonpolar interactions. And we know that lipids are also hydrophobic. So choices A and D we should have eliminated. And remembering that covalent bonds are intramolecular, we should eliminate choice C because we were asked about the forces or interactions between one protein, which is an epitope, and another, which is an antigen. So in this case, the correct response is B. Electrostatic interactions are responsible for the interaction between the epitope and the antibody.